And hello everyone and welcome back to another Warcraft 3 gameplay cast by me, Thendis32. I know what you're saying, it's been a while and yes it has. But thanks to a friend of mine, I have got OBS working. And you may have noticed something new to the channel, I added an overlay. That way you can't see when the game's gonna end, just to make it that much more surprising. Alright, let's start casting these players. Spawning as the red human, we have Thu. Thu Old Man is pretty well known around the Warcraft 3 community. He's one of the best and only pro random players that I know of. And his opponent. Spawning as the blue undead, we have ZDR. ZDR is also well known in the Warcraft 3 community. I have checked, so I know these names are correct. This game was taken from the WCA Cup, which I'm sure you've seen already, but due to technical issues, I'm a little late. <laughs> Human versus Undead matchup here on Terranus Stand. Looks like we got the old DK Fiend build for the undead, and we got the standard Archmage Footman build from the human player. Very nice. I like this overlay. I like this overlay indeed. It was quite easy to put on. I thought it'd be much harder to put on than it was, but I was wrong. I know that you missed me guys and depending on what video you see first later on today the day that this video is being uploaded I'm going to put my own little series to help make the channel a little bit funner if that's even a word it's I'm gonna do the Warcraft 3 campaign which I'm sure you've seen before but you never seen it yeah you never seen it Thunder style and I know you can't see me but I'm doing jazz hands Thunder style Ta -ta -ta. Got a footman coming in, scouting around. Thu's gonna be militia creeping this goblin laboratory. Maybe pick him off a shredder later on. And the shredder allows for him to get expansions quite quickly, as the shredder does gather a lot of lumber. Footman ticking off that fiend. That fiend doesn't like footman. Nice use of um, multitasking here, creeping two spots at once. Human players having the power to do that with militia. Hold on. Sorry about that. Death Knight coming in. Yes, he, he has the sacrificial skull, which creates blight on the ground. A player's forces are. I don't know. He's he's gonna put it down here. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ooh, I'm gonna pause this. I do believe he's gonna try to get a quick expo. Undead usually doesn't get expansions until at least their gold mine's halfway down, so if he does it like this, this will be a quick expo for Undead. Something to keep an eye on. But speaking of expansions, Thu's gonna militia creep this expansion. Pretty standard, tearing the stand, been on the map pool for a while. Most players already know the plan and goal on this map. Scourge Bone Chimes picked up for the undead. Gets Vampiric Aura for those footmen and militia. Undead. He's starting to build towers, so I think he is going to go for this expansion creeping style. Have to see how this goes. Meanwhile, this pesky footman getting some slashes in on the Acolyte. These ghouls will come in and scare him away. Thu. Looks like he's going to do a little poking and prodding. His mantle of Intelligence and Sentry Ward, level 2 on the Death Knight, getting him that unholy Aroa. Meanwhile, none of these players have teched yet, so that's another sign if they're going to expand. Thu's getting his expansion speed built. Going to target the shop, make sure the undead can't buy anything in his defense. He does have one ziggurat up. I have to keep an eye on what he does with it. Water elementals being pesky. Archmage still going after this shop. We got a Nerubian tower coming out of that ziggurat. So he could use it to slow down the creeps when they decide to run back. 
Looks like this shop will be going down. It's 130 more gold that ZDR will have to use to rebuild because you need those skeleton rods and that orb of corruption later on in the game. Now, Thu will see these towers and shop, and he'll have to be thinking to himself, what is this? What is this kind of play? Meanwhile, skeletons scouting around. CDR does know about this expansion. And I was right. He is going to be creeping this spot. Lightning shield onto the enforcer, but Thu's relentless with this archmage, keeping on the pressure. Toma GG, level 3 onto that death knight, very nice. Level 2 coil will be very helpful. Archmage doesn't want to get too far in there. Undead bases are annoying to go in. Lightning shield on a fiend will have to micro his way. Oh. Oh, bink. Ooh. Oh. Nice. The Archmage got the last hit and got the experience for it. The Death Knight did get the item, Belt of Giant Strength. Pretty nice on a Death Knight. He's got his expansion going. Looks like Thu's gonna want to creep out this spot with his footman, possibly get himself another expansion. While he's continuing to harass with this Archmage. I like this play by Thu, keeping ZDR on his toes. Making sure he can't creep easily. We'll get caught by this Nerubian Tower. And it looks like you will see this expansion. Ring of Protection, plus two, dropping. None of those footmen can wear it, their hands are too small. Nice use of the Acolyte, blocking the Archmage. Will we see a coil under that Archmage? Nah, it is going to TP away. Thu does know about this expansion. He could creep out that spot, so he could possibly get another expansion later on. Meanwhile, Thu's about one third away through his tech. ZDR is not teched up yet. Which isn't very good. Usually as undead you want to be ahead in the tech because undead doesn't rely on expansions as much as human players. But we'll see how this plays out. We'll see how this plays out. Cloak of Shadows, dropping. Pretty nice item. I personally sell it in my games, but I know pro players can use it to their advantage. CDR creeping out this mercenary camp. He did get the Goblin Shredder, so that possibly means he'll go for another expansion. Because he really doesn't need all these peasants on wood anymore. Picking himself a Troll Shadow Priest. That healing's pretty nice, and the abolish magic on those water elementals who keep harassing away. Footman hacking and slashing on these cigarettes. I don't think he'll get the kill, but if his buddies show up, like it looks like they are. CDR will be here to defend this. It's currently 40 supply to 50 supplies, so Thu is ahead. Ghoul's getting caught out here. Ooh. You don't want those ghouls to go down. You're your primary lover, Harvesters. So I don't believe ZDR ever creeped out his goblin laboratory. What? Ooh, nice use of multitasking. And he called militia, so it looks like he will take an expansion here. That did give Thu's Archmage level 4. Pretty beefed up Archmage. Teching straight up to tier 3, so it looks like we might see some air play here. Griffin's Dragonhawks, a very viable strategy in 1v1s, as well as 4v4s. Archmage getting caught out by the Death Knight, but the Death Knight will be scared away. Meanwhile, Death Knight's about a little over halfway to tier 2, so he is behind on tech. But fiends can carry you quite a bit. I'm trying to look for the Griffin areas. Oh! We got a blacksmith. <laughs> I thought that was something else for a second. Footman goes down. Death Knight almost at level 4. This water elemental might give it to him. Getting attacked his expansion. He better call back the fiends. Slowly making their way there. He's going to focus the Archmage. The Archmage is a weak hero. The shop will go down. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I missed it. Oh, okay. 
Okay. I'm so sorry. Fu must have bought himself some goblin zappers. And they came in and blew up these two ziggurats. I, I heard the noise of a dead zapper and I saw these two towers getting destroyed. Sorry for missing that, folks. As you know, there is no rewind in Warcraft 3. Archmage, staff of TP, Death Knight. Probably could have coiled him, but probably focused on other things. His footmen now have defend, so these fiends do less damage. Level 4 onto that Death Knight. Now is himself that level 2 Arwa. Well, it does get a cancel on this Necropolis. But the great thing about Undead is you don't need the Necropolis to mine from their expansions. So as long as that gold mine stays up, he's well protected. Archmage, very low in health. I'd use one of those regeneration scrolls. We got towers being put here and here. So it looks like Thu's going to try to get triple expansion. And if he manages to get him up, that's going to be a lot of income. I don't believe ZDR knows about these expansions. He doesn't. ZDR picking up himself a Panda Brewmaster. Not exactly the most standard for Undead, but we'll see how this goes. Pole players can pretty much do anything they want and get away with it. Current upgrades is 1-0 versus 0-0. Zero, zero. Creeping out this mercenary camp, and the human player is moving in. We got we got two workshops coming in, so I guess we won't be seeing griffins and dragon hawks. Looks like we might see a tank play, which is very effective against undead. This undead doesn't really have a great way of getting rid of those tanks. Them and night elf. The best race to take care of tanks is humans and orcs. These towers will relatively be up soon, making it easier for ZDR to defend. Panda and the Fiends coming back in, but it looks like Thu's going to back off. Thu knows what's smart. ZDR cannot get that Necropolis up. Going to creep out this green spot. I did miss this, but Mountain King is the second hero, but what else will we expect? Might even see a Blood Mage as the third hero choice. Or a Paladin. It is undead. Did ZDR knows about this expansion. I don't think he knows about the bottom one still. But there's plenty of towers to keep this defended. But fiends shred through these towers. It's not even funny how much they shred. Meanwhile, the human player is going to try to cancel this slaughterhouse. And I think he'll be able to do it. Undead forced to back off here. And it looks like he will have to cancel his slaughterhouse, delaying his tech. And we got a Lich as the third hero choice for the undead. Lich, with that orb of corruption, is just so deadly. It just shreds through things. Undead is here. Breath of Fire being used, level 2 on the panda, Stormbolt being used on the panda, that Mountain King's in a dangerous spot. Looks like you will be able to get away. These ghouls getting harassed a little bit. And Thu continues to go. I want to see what he's producing. I believe it will be tanks. One expansion going up, two expansions. Thu will have a lot of economy. 48 supply to 50. So ZDR is ahead. And I believe he's ahead by a lot. So a lot of that supply is in workers. And he has double shredder. Thu's going for a macro game here. It's almost like StarCraft or something. ZDR going to creep out his goblin lavatory. Gloves of haste being dropped. Not the greatest of items, but it's not the worst. If you put on a lich with the orb of corruption, you'll be able to spread out easier. Thu, I love these water elemental harassments. It's keeping him on his toes. Archmage is going to get caught out here. It's going to staff and CP away, but will he get away? Ooh. That panda would have got his breath off. That would have been awesome. Surprisingly, the orb of corruption is not on the lich. Oh, there it goes. Okay, just checking. Slaughterhouse now being produced. 
It's very late. Greatly late. Thu is a double, triple expansion, and he still has his main gold mine. His income has got to be beastly. 2,000 gold versus... 2,000 gold. Wow. Way to make me look like an idiot. Food supply is currently 53 versus 48. ZDR did go in a high upkeep. He does have quite a bit of gold though, so he can afford it. And we have a paladin as the third hero, f which is pretty standard against undead. We got ourselves here a creep jack. Abolish magic being used on that water elemental. I believe the timer went out before he could kill it. Death Knight close to level 5. Might get himself here a Mountain King. Holy Light being used. And the Undead Nuke. Stormbolt being used. And that Paladin is keeping that Mountain King alive. But can he stay alive? That is the question. Ooh! Long range coil smacking that Mountain King right in the face. Right in the face. Fiends plus a Lich will shred through these towers if he's patient. Level 5 onto that Death Knight. Looks like the human player is going to try to poke and prod at the undead base. Breath of Fire being used here. There's still quite a bit of towers, so I don't think putting your heroes in this is smart. Meanwhile, Thu... See if he can get himself a Goblin Shredder kill. That's in a very expensive kill. Death Knight taking a little more damage than he'd like to. Meanwhile, we actually have mortars coming in here. So I guess we won't be seeing tanks. But mortars are still effective. I know in my 4v4 games when I go mortars, I do a lot of damage. Breath of Fire being used on the worker line. Frost Nova slowing them all down. Thu's not TPing this expansion because he doesn't need it. He still has these three. If you hear that in the background, that's my phone ringing. <laughs> the Red Cross is calling me. Okay. Um, okay, I'm... Okay. I'm sorry if you hear that in the background. <laughs> Okay, good. They're not leaving a message. Um, what I was saying was, dude's actually getting rifleman now too. Old rifleman Mort. He has three gold mines still. This gold mine was expenditory. If anything, it distracted the undead long enough for him to do this. I'm. I wouldn't even be surprised if he bought some more zappers. Paladin getting caught by that pesky Nerubian tower. The Death Knight used the staff of TP to get back, and the Archmage will get away. Level 3 onto that Panda. Level 2 on the Lich. Level 5 on the Death Knight. Versus level 1. Level 2. Level 4. So about even hero levels. We even have a cannon tower. How often do you see those? Almost forgot they existed. These meat wagons slowly tear away at these towers. They do not have fortified armor, so it doesn't do as much damage. Human player coming in from behind. Paladin's getting a little bit of that nuke. How do you use invulnerability pot? Obsidian statue getting caught, and those mortars in the back are doing so much damage. Even the goblin shredder is being pulled back here. Paladin does go down, but this doesn't look like a good fight for ZDR. Invulnerability pod onto that lich. It looks like the undead will have to back off here. Abominations coming in. And the destroyer upgrade. Nice use of the mortar range. Smacking that expansion over the river. Doing the slow siege trick. Shredder's getting a little caught out here. And it looks like he will be going down from this. And Thu's being smart, he's gonna hold his position. He does get the gold mine. 
And the undead's natural gold mine's starting to run out of gold here. So this isn't looking good for the undead. The human has the economy and the expansion. So like he's gonna creep with the paladin? Or not creep at all? If he's gonna creep, I want it. There we go. Get that paladin level 2. Get him that divine shield. Very helpful in the fights. Current food supply is 79 versus 100. Whoa. We got 100 food here for Thu. He is at top dog maximum right now. And we'll see how this goes. Mortar fire is being used on the slaughterhouses. Those mortars are just shredding through these buildings very quickly. We got a shade to keep an eye on things. How did... I believe there was a flare still up here. Because I don't see a gyro. Let's just go with that, because I know Thu's not a map hacker. It looks like the undead will be expanding here, but the militia will see this. The undead's gonna need a miracle in order to fight this. He does have banshees in the play now, and he's getting the anti-magic shell. Keeping him away from that stormbolt and holy light. And we got ourselves here an engagement. Roar being used here. The undead's gonna need every little buff he can get. That plague's doing wonders, but the mortars are getting to destroyers. Holy light's going down. I hear mortars, divine shield on the paladin. Bombing it. Panda! Ooh! Panda goes down. The abolish. The magic shields are starting to wear off. Lich is getting a little low here. ZDR will need a miracle for this. Meanwhile, this goblin shredder is slicing and dicing these acolytes. If Thu slowly uses uses his mortars, he can slowly demolish his base. Undead bases are terrible to attack into, so I understand Thu being a little reluctant. Mortar fire is going down. Stormbolt onto that Death Knight. ZDR is going to need some great micro here. Mortar fires firing mostly on his own. Nova being used. Coil onto that abomination. He cannot afford to lose any units. Even losing his natural gold mine here. He does have this expansion up. ZDR's holding out nicely for his situation, that's for sure. Thu's being extra cautious here. It looks like he doesn't want to push into this. He will be backing off, giving ZDR a chance to breathe. Nova being used, picking off some riflemen, level 3 onto that lich. Ooh, but he's getting caught! Divine shield being used on the paladin, and the undead's gonna TP away. That wasn't good at all for the undead. It looks like this expansion won't be lasting much. We even got the long rifle upgrades. Current is 3 0 with 3 0 upgrades versus. 3-1. Food supply is currently 39 versus 99. So, ooh, nice picking off the mortars. You do not want to lose those mortars as they are quite expensive. Thu's still on two base economy here versus ZDR's zero base economy. ZDR just needs a miracle here, and I don't know what he can possibly do. Looks like Thu might be coming in for the final push. 
firing up, seeing what he's against here, but it's just not looking good. Level 5, level 3. Where's the Mount King? Level 4 versus level 5 and level 3. I don't even think he ever resurrected that panda. Divine Shield being used. Banshee being caught out. ZDR has no choice but to fight this. But he's fighting uphill, and it's a very steep hill here. Ghoul's going down left and right. Death Knight very close. And ZDR calls GG. Very nice play by Thu. Getting those bases early on, securing that economy, and keeping ZDR contained. I like that play. That was a very nice play. If you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to watch me play Warcraft 3 on Twitch, follow me at Thendus32, and I'll be seeing you around.